Uh, it's very nice to be invited back again this year, so we mustn't have done too badly last year. Uh, last year I just gave a demo of the portal, so I managed to not have any slides, so I, I got away with the whole uh, open source thing, but this year I made a token effort and uh, put them on PDF, so first ever known PowerPoint slide, but um, in government we can't really access any open source software at the moment anyway, or very little anyway. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, Open Data NI. Uh, this is the portal, so it's basically, um, I suppose it's our public sector open data portal, so we're proactively publishing um, as much open data within government as we can onto the platform. The platform itself is built on open source uh, CCAN technology. So I suppose first of all I'm just going to ask a quick question of, um, apart from in the the fact that we're a sponsor and you saw us in your booklet today. A quick show of hands of who's heard of Open Data NI, first of all. Okay, not too bad. Secondly, who's actually used it, downloaded some data, done anything with it? Okay, no, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so the main key things um, I suppose to point out about the portal is that all of the data sets th that we put on it um, are all available in non proprietary formats. It's one of our must haves. So if a department wants to put a data set on it that's an Excel <coughs> spreadsheet, well, um, basically they have to put it up. They can put up the Excel if they want, but they have to put up a CSV file of that as well. So we're trying to push for um, open formats. Well, open formats, is a, it doesn't go on unless there's an open format on it. The spatial data, we try to enforce GeoJSON, um, JSON if, uh, for all their data sets as well. So basically trying to push towards those formats. And also the other bit about it is the licensing. There's one license and it's very simple. Open government license, so it means that any data on it, uh, you can take, you can reuse, you can create a commercial application and you don't have to pay any money, just acknowledge the source of where the data came from. And that's basically standard across um, all of the data on the portal. So, tiny little bit about our journey. So the portal itself is just over a year old. We had our birthday party in November, the end of November. We were um, up and running for a year, so we did have cake. It wasn't very big though, so but shared it within the office. There is a strategy within uh, government now that all of our public sector data is open by default, so it's just trying to change the mindset of departments and people to proactively push data out there and why. Um, basically, I suppose our main reasons we want to unlock the value of it. Government collects an awful lot of data to do an awful lot of different things. Normally just for, well, I suppose for, for whatever that department's actually collected the data for. But um, there are so many uses of the data that we can't even think of. We want to try to encourage innovation within Northern Ireland, encourage app development, encourage reuse of, of the data internally. We want to start consuming some of the open data ourselves and improving our service delivery. Um, we basically want to enhance, <laughs> that's quite funny now at the moment, enhance government uh, transparency and reputation as well. Um, and also increase uh, public's engagement with, with government. <coughs> so these figures I suppose are as of the end of November. We had uh, 42 different publishers on the portal. We had 198 different data sets. Yeah. We're not overly obsessed with numbers because we're looking more quality and types of data not necessarily the quality of the data, but data that we know that people actually want to use. I think we're up to maybe 212 or something at the moment. Um, within that one year, we had uh, 3,818 downloads of, of data from it. And that's not counting um, the interactive APIs of people accessing those. Um, we don't have the stats on those yet, but we're working on that. So basically an awful lot of the, well, basically all of the data sets on the portal. It's a machine readable format. You can just plug into an API um, via the portal. As long as you register on the portal, you'll get your own little unique API key um, and work away. We've had uh, over 11,500 active users, 157,000 page views. And then to try to put into context some of the data, one of the biggest data sets we have on it is our prescription data. So every single thing that's prescribed um, for, from a GP, um, basically row by row, for the whole of Northern Ireland. So per month, that works out at about 450,000 uh, rows of data. So every single item individually, um, what, what, it, what the item name, I suppose, the quantity of it, and then the cost as well. So over a year, that's over like um, five and a half million uh, rows of data. So it's the biggest data set that we have on it and is one of the most heavily used. 
What we're trying to do is show government that releasing this data is a good thing. We released an awful lot of LIDAR data, uh, remote sensing, um, I suppose very detailed uh, height level data. And within about uh, a week or two weeks of releasing the data, we started on Twitter to see the different models that people were creating, taking the data. We've got um, Navin Fort there, Black Pig's Dyke down near Clonus. People are actually taking the data and playing with it uh, and sh I suppose sharing that back with us. We even had uh, Connor within Queens here who basically wrote a whole blog about how you can actually take the data and um, use an open source software, how you can then start to model it. I think that's uh, Cave Hill, there's a little uh, background map that he's got there and, and published that um, on, I assume it's on, it's on Queens somewhere basically. So it takes you step by step through how to take this data, download it and how to start playing about with it. And then from posting that, he got invited in, I think it was, was it Methody? Methody School Geography Department invited him in to actually teach to the students. So in terms of the value of us releasing the data, you know, you can't put a financial cost on that, but it's a fantastic value and resource and helps us, I suppose, leverage to release more. Showcases, if you do anything uh, cool or even uncool with the data, we can put it up as a showcase on the portal itself. You can go in and have a look at them. I think we have 15 different ones now, people just doing different things uh, with various data sets, so trees were very popular, a data set of 30,000 trees within Belfast City Council released, uh, the types of trees, the size of the can canopy and the height of them. So we've had, um, I think it was Lorraine created a little 3D model in um, botanic gardens of the trees. Um, Bob, who's sitting in here as well, um, oh no, actually that was Connor. <laughs> Connor created a little app where you can find your trees. Bob created one to find your nearest bus stop pulling that information in and it'll tell you the uh, train times and all as well. So starting to really show the value. So we have 15 showcases in, in uh, just over a year and a month. Then we also decided, I suppose, to stimulate a bit more, uh, I suppose, wider, I suppose, um, I suppose, interest in the uh, open data itself. So the Department of Finance, along with the Department of Economy, launched a challenge um, and it was an education-based challenge. Um, so it was basically to create a teaching resource or tool using open data on the portal. Um, our main means of advertising it was tweeting it and retweeting it and getting people in. So it was a chance of winning £20,000 to develop an idea. Um, basically, no caveats on it, either primary school, secondary school, whatever subject you want, be that math, science, um, anything under the sun. And we had fantastic uh, response to that. So we had 15, first phase of it was a paper-based application just. So we, I think we had 15 of those. They were sifted down to six, were selected to get two and a half thousand pounds to develop a prototype. And then uh, from those six, they went in front of a panel of um, innovation and education experts. And from those six, two were selected to get 20,000 pounds each to develop uh, their project. The one thing that came out of it is that the panel were really disappointed and they kept going, can we not award more than two? <laughs> so, but unfortunately at the time I was going, well, sure we can, as long as you can give us the money, because unfortunately, we didn't have any more, so um, two were selected and um, we had, uh, they're midway through, you'll spot Phil there, um, and Rose, who's about to speak about her challenge. So they're uh, midway through the challenges at the moment, I think, in, in developing them, and then they're gonna be deployed within schools um, in Northern Ireland uh, for a, a minimum of three years. So it's starting to, um, I suppose it's just starting to stimulate the whole uh, use of the data, um, widening out the, the aspect of it and making people more aware and that they can, um, I suppose, request data through the portal as well is another key one. If there's something out there that you want to do and you think government might potentially have that data set, you can fill in a suggested uh, little form suggesting a data set and we'll go and try and actively uh, publish that for you. You can follow us mainly on Twitter. We do hope this year, I'm um, not sure of our, our budget yet at the moment, but we are planning to try to hold uh, some more smaller events, um, hackathons and things, and also trying to run another competition uh, this year. We just haven't decided on a theme. We need to get, I suppose, more data in uh, to potentially run something, either health, environment, or, or something along those lines. But we're always open to, open to ideas. But Follow us on Open Data NI, and if you do anything with any of the data on it, please let us know. Either tweet it out or, or send us a showcase. We'd be really keen to, to see that. You can comment on data sets as well. Say this is rubbish. If you added this in, this would be good, and we'll feed that back. So we'll try and improve the data sets. Um, so feel free to just use it as a resource. I'm going to hand over now to Rose. <laughs>